your Clippers winners of seven of their last eight. Thank you, Paul George. 29 points, seven rebounds, five assists, and a whole lot of respect for all of his teammates, but especially one tonight. Hey, Paul. Congrats on the win. Thank you. Uh, just, uh, you, you guys didn't really know what would happen with, with, uh, with Nick today. I'm just curious, you know, your thoughts as a teammate. Uh, he's had a pretty emotional day, but what, is it, what does it say to you guys that he's able to, you know, go from, you know, being a father one minute, coming to having a game, playing well, and then going back to being a father? What, what does that say to you as a teammate? Man, um, you appreciate it. Um, I mean, we would have respected him either way. Um, we know the decision um, and how big of this of a moment this is it this is for his family um, <clears throat> you know it, it, it's you know my respect for him is is 100 he he had a a win-win situation um, you know and uh, I mean I, I think you know it's just he's just showing his commitment to this team and um, you know to be able to balance both um, it's an incredible incredible uh, you know thing that he did um, Honestly, uh, you know, this game, you know, it's, 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 it's a game at the end of the day. Um, he would have had my full, uh, you know, vote to be with his family and um, miss the game tonight. Um, but, you know, it just shows, you know, his commitment to this team. Thank you. Next, we will go to Law Murray. Hey, Paul, congrats on the win tonight. Uh, you got the same team on, on Sunday, but it's a bad day game, and this team has had uh, inconsistent performances in early starts before going back to last year. Obviously, the tough game against Dallas, and then the rough start against Chicago, uh, even though you guys were able to get that one in the end. How do you kind of change the preparation, you know, knowing that's the same team, but a different start time in less than 48 hours? Yeah, I mean, we just got to come ready. That's all it is. Just come ready. Just be prepared. Um, get into our preparation early. Um, that's all it is. Um, simple as that. Just we, we just got to be ready. Whatever it is, whatever it takes, whatever it is. Um, everybody just got to start that engine early. No, we got our marching orders for the weekend. We all got to come ready. Just got to get your preparation on a little bit early on Sunday because it is a day game it's an early game. tip yes it is you know what i can probably get some golf in but boyd over here oh boy Man. you're gonna you're gonna play a game before the game no, 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 That's, after we probably you, do it you're in before. celebratory mode yeah, because yeah. he won the carmax <laughs> call your shot uh the clippers average 18.3 three pointers in the last five games will they get to 18 tonight do you want to you want to look at the box score from my my box score's missing the three points. Okay, pointers. let me look at it. Um <laughs> I think it says 10 for 33. 10 for 33. So that means 10 actually went I, down. So and you know, I, I did not win. Yeah, you and Don are, are wrong today. Yeah, I know this Don is, is somewhere in Hawaii himself. sipping a pina, pina colada. So it, it would be at this time Donnie where Mac. I should deflect and take it to yeah, another yeah. comment, another yeah. situation, because that's what you guys do <laughs> when you do lose. So which I will say, happy to see the Clippers can win a game where the three isn't working. Looking forward to OKC and some adjustments on Sunday. Los Angeles Clippers keeping that win streak alive. Aggressive early, experimented with a lineup. The three was not the thing tonight, but they did walk away with the W. We're going back into Staples. Listen in to Ty Lee. Hey, Coach. Congrats on the win. Thank you. Um, I'm, I'm curious, how have you felt the weak side rotations on the back end have been over the last few games? I noticed Lou, in particular, was really active on that end tonight. Yeah, it's been good. You know, I think we've been doing a good job of just uh, differentiating two between pick and roll, two and two, and then, you know, one-on-one -on -one drives we got to help the low man. So uh, we've been doing a good job just trying to see the difference between the two and uh, just trying to stay active on that low man awareness. Thank you. Thank you. Next up, Law Murray. Hey, congrats on the win tonight. Um, Looking ahead, you got the same team, uh, but the uh, start time on Sunday is earlier. And, you know, over the last couple of years, this team has had some uh, interesting matinee game performances. Uh, obviously, uh, the burn the tape game against Dallas, and then uh, it took a while for you guys to get started against Chicago, uh, even this season. So how do you get your guys ready tonight to get ready for that next game? 
And are there any takeaways from the string of the inconsistent performances? Why don't you let me know, love? I don't really know. Why don't you help me out with that? <laughs> hey, all I, I, I know I'm going to set my alarm a little earlier for that. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, you know, we'll be good. You know, I just think um, early games and then with the, the later testing and how things are going, you know, just to try to make sure the games happen. Um, we just got to get our rest and we just got to be focused. And um, today, you know, in today's game, I thought we had a good flow and a good rhythm in that first half. And um, I told the guys that that was my fault in the second half of not getting the same flow and not forcing movement in that second half. So uh, we'll be ready. We'll be ready to play. And just got to do a better better job on Shea. Thank you. We'll go next to Miriam. Miriam, you're on mute. Hey, Ty. Congrats, man. I, so uh, Nick Batum had, had himself a pretty good day today, <laughs> all all told. What'd you make of his effort and energy coming out? You know, considering uh, all that's happened in his world. Oh, it was great. You know, just seeing him. You know, have a beautiful daughter and then come back and want to play the same night. Um, just shows his dedication. Um, it means a lot to the team. And um, just happy for him. You know, today was a big day for him, like you said. Thank you. Next, Andrew Gray. Hey Ty, um, you talked uh, you talked about how throughout this year you have talked with guys on the team, kind of giving them reinforcement. Um, whether it's Lou Williams, whether it's Luke Kennard, about how you have confidence in them, go out and play like they're used to. Did you have any kind of talk like that with Serge? Because um, he hadn't rebounded like this in a while, he hadn't shot like this in a while. Uh, this was looked like it was one of his best performances of the year. Um, no, just you know, Serge is a vet, so you know he he understands the game and. Um, his whole philosophy is, you know, getting PG and Kawhi and those guys open, and the ball's gonna find them if we play in the right way. And I thought he did a really good job on the offensive glass and um, being big down low, having a presence. And so um, when he's playing like that, we are a different team. And I thought Zoo came in the first half and did a great job as well. Corey McGinney, I'm looking at this stat sheet. This is a weird one on Nick Batumi. He has four threes and a baby. Yeah, there's a baby on the stat sheet. Congratulations! If, congratulations, Nick. I, I'm surprised. I don't even know if he got any rest. You think he got No, what's rest? interesting is, I guess, uh, shortly after he lets the Clippers know that the beautiful bundle of joy has made her way onto planet Earth here, he called work and said, I, I can be there, like, right away. I'm ready to come to work. And the Clippers said, hang on, like, we, we got to contact the NBA. We got to make sure that this is okay. And he First of all, you got to contact Lily. She gave him the, she gave him the okay <laughs> You know what? That's there. why That's why your, your wife is happy yeah, and you're probably happy. a happily yeah. married man. Your first response was, let's talk to my wife. Good answer. Way to go. Way to go, Nick. Congratulations, <laughs> bud. Yeah, it is awesome. Clipper Nation got a little bit bigger, and uh, she'll probably know 15 languages uh, by right, before the week is sure. out, I would imagine. It's amazing. Congratulations. All right, when we come back, uh, we are going to look ahead because we got another one coming down this weekend, and no doubt Kawhi Leonard will be a part of the activity, and we'll uh, share a little bit more insight.